Hello, my name is Keith from StarTech.com. Today, we'll be discussing guidelines and best practices for constructing a server rack. Constructing a server rack can be a bit daunting, but these guidelines can help you with most of the server racks that StarTech.com sells. We'll be using our four post rack 25U. Before we begin, let's take a look at the guidelines. Before you begin, make sure there's enough room where you will be building. If you intend to move the rack, make sure it will fit through any doors or hallways. Make sure that you have all of the parts listed in the manual. Make sure that you have all of the tools that you will need. While building, assemble the rack in the correct order according to your manual. After building, Double check that everything is where it should be and then tighten everything down. Be careful not to strip screws. Install casters and any server rack accessories. Now that we've reviewed the guidelines, we can begin assembling the server rack. Today, my colleague Andrew will be helping me. We've already taken everything out of the box and ensured that the parts match up with what's outlined in the manual. We've also made sure we have all the tools we need to do the job. So let's get started. First, we'll assemble the adjustable beams. On this server rack, these adjustable beams control the depth of our rack and are marked with index numbers. The index numbers allow you to set the depth of your rack based on your equipment. Make sure that you choose the same index numbers for all of the adjustable beams. You can use the measurement chart in the manual for reference. As you screw in your first screws, it's a good idea to only tighten them finger tight. That way, if you need to unscrew anything, you can do so easily. There are a few important things that you should check for at this point in the assembly. Make sure that the numbers on the adjustable beams and vertical rails are facing the right way. Make sure that you refer to the manual for the fastening pattern as this is crucial to the rack's stability once it's assembled. The same fastening pattern will be used for the other corners of the server rack. For this rack, you can see that we have our screw going through the top or base bracket, then the vertical rail, and then into the adjustable beam, in that order. This is essential and will be the same for all of your corners. Two of the adjustable beams, two of the vertical rails, and the top and base brackets should all now be in place. We're ready to attach the other two adjustable beams and our final two vertical rails. Our rack is coming together nicely. Before we proceed, make sure your numbers on your adjustable beams and your vertical rails are all facing in the correct direction. And make sure you have the correct fastening pattern on each of the corners. Once you're sure everything is correct, go ahead and tighten down your screws, but be careful not to strip them. Now that our rack is fully assembled, we can attach the casters and server rack accessories. Note that all of your casters and server rack accessories should be installed facing in the same direction. 
you may find it easier to invert the server rack to install the casters. As you can see, server rack builds are fairly straightforward as long as you take your time. If you experience issues in setting up your StarTech.com server rack, please contact our technical support team for further assistance. Thanks for watching. My name's Keith from StarTech.com. Hard to find? Made easy.